The residents of Moray in the Efija Kwabre uh, South District of the Ashanti region say their lives are in danger from persistent blast of rocks by a quarry company operating there. In the latest explosion on Friday, slabs of flying rocks hit and entered homes as far as to bedrooms, causing damage to buildings and other property. The development has left residents in fear as some of them who fled the scene are reluctant to return while some are already calling for relocation and compensation. Nana Asensu Mensa visited the community to interact with the victims. Though no casualties were recorded, visible and deep cracks and holes left in walls are enough evidence to show the magnitude of the blast. The development has left residents in fear as their homes literally become disaster prone. Retired educationist and school proprietor Asiodue Champon explains how the quarry operation has affected life over the years. Mm, it's affecting the school daily. Because we are going to the, the danger post to the children. As you, I showed you, if by grace they are not passed to the coop, the hen coop, it will have hit some of the children. And therefore, even some parents are reluctant to bring their, their children. And therefore, we ought to see proper way of I mean, uh, doing their, their work. Life and property are obviously at risk, and people live in uncertainty about when the next blast will take place and the extent of damage. In the house, I want to buy a dragon. I returned from the, the um, town. I heard that this, uh, this is what has happened in my house. So I rushed home, and this is what I found. Send me fear glass, and I bought me pillar we are directed by inside. I really thank God that I wasn't here. In fact, I wouldn't know what would have happened to me until now. They have seen me. What is really going to happen to us? We say, baby, it's no. We have papers. We have documents that we are here. And the king knows. A boo, a boo, no, a boo, chance, you know. A two chance, you know, them no boo, silly, no gum. Uba, but not yes, you done it. Away, now with the Mirica. The rocks often blast, destroying our homes and properties. Our lives are at risk. The workers turn a blind eye to our plea. We are afraid for our lives. We are pleading with the government to come to our aid or to put a stop to these workers. Afija Kwabri South District Chief Executive Christian Adupoku has no specific remedial action except to admonish quarry companies to ensure sustainable operation. We, 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 when, when this happened, because we didn't want the people to, because out of anger, to attack them, we asked them to close the quarry down. Not until they are finished repairing all the damages, they, they were not supposed to work. And we are liaising with the Mineral Commission as well as the EPA to come out with a standard with which each of these um, quarries should blast. I think they have standards. But these people, out of, should I say, zeal or the fact that they want to get more stones at a the time, they blast it more than the required standard. Nana Asensumensa reporting. Nana Sensu Mensa's reports there. Well, the Associate Director of the Wasa Association of Communities Affected by Mining, Wakam, Hana Ousu Kranting, wants government to deal with the effect of large scale mining on the environment and not to focus only on illegal small scale mining. It's about the postage of bonds. Now we've moved beyond that to the polluter pays principle. So you can't say that I've posted some money somewhere to have the right to pollute mm -hmm. your environment. Mm -hmm. You need to clean your mess. And that's why I am more interested in what is happening to the, the sanity of the environment, the environmental quality analysis, mm -hmm. which has not been done by anybody. And so even as NGOs like Wacom have done some uh, assessment of water 
quality and the uh, air quality mm -hmm. and then distance from mining to to the buffer to zone. Uh, communities the buffer zone which is about 500 meters you go to takwa today the 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 uh, uh, the Takwa Gold Source mine. Mm. The blasting intensity alone is collapsing uh, buildings at Brahava Boom. And some of them are two kilometers away. The blast and TV sets are falling down and things like that. Mm. So a lot of illegalities are happening mm. within legal concessions. Mm. And these are the things that I'm talking mm. about. Sure. And not whether government is doing what or what. Mm. And I think just to narrow the scope to small scale mining is not, not enough.